all right so I quickly want us to be able to learn how we can write protected routes uh, for our sign in and sign up pages all right so in order for us to be able to protect our routes like how I was explaining in the previous part right so while we were setting up our authentication with clerk right well, in order for us to be able to do that you have to come to the dashboard layout here and then into the dashboard layout what we want to do is we want to quickly use use effect and then check for a couple of things inside the clerk package right so what we'll do is we just come here and then we'll say const and we'll open up this object and then we'll equate it to use auth and you can see that it's coming from clerk and then what are we going to be getting what we are going to be getting is the user id right and then we are going to be getting is loaded right exactly all right now that we have both of these bad boys what we are going to do is you're going to uh import you're going to import use navigate and then store it inside and store it inside this variable that we are creating here use navigate okay then now that we have use navigate here what we want to do is we want to create our use effect so we can just use this use effect snippet i'll just take this out take this out as well take this out and then i'll just import this all right <clears throat> okay so we have use effects here nice and clean and then all i have to do is f then i would say okay so i'll check for is loaded now if it's loaded and there is no user id if it's loaded and there is no user id what we want to do is we want to navigate right when the page loads and there's no user id we want to navigate to what sign in page okay because if you if you check you realize that our sign in page is this so yeah <clears throat> okay so now that we have set this up what we want to do is we want to perform this re-render based off of certain conditions right we want to check for it's loaded okay we want to check for the user id too as well and then we want to make sure that and we want to make sure that we are checking for navigate okay okay right um it's nice to know that we've been able to set this up now in case it is still loading right we might want to come up with something okay so uh in case it's loading okay or let's say it's not loaded right okay let's let's not complicate things by bringing that whole return and the whole bracket thing let's just return a simple text right in the meantime so um oh yeah so we know that it's loading in the meantime right okay now that we have this working we want to um go to the home page and then add like a simple button that can allow us to go to the dashboard and then um once we go to the dashboard and we realize that we are not authenticated it should take us to our sign in page as we set up over here right okay so in order for us to be able to go to our our home page we would have to either search for the home page which is here or uh, control p and then you search for home control p you search for home and then you should be able to enter that place right so I mean uh, basically now that we are here let me quickly use the bracket here and then uh, we create like a temporary link from react router DOM okay temporary link from react router DOM and then we'll put in dashboard or go to dashboard so let's say go to dashboard so that 
um, when you are, when in case you are at this particular section and you leave your code and you come back, you you still understand where you go to. Okay, so this is just a temporary link that we are going to be using for the meantime. So I'll say go to dashboard and then I'll set the two path to be what. I'll set the two path to be dashboard. All right. All right. Cool. 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 Okay, so um, now that we have this set up like we expect it to be, right, what do we want to do next? What we want to do is we want to click this and then test. So you realize that when we click and we come here, you can see that we have our sign-in model here, right? Now, um, now that we have our sign-in model here, we would want to make sure that we center it at the middle of the page right so that it looks good so we are going to quickly center by going to the sign in right now um i want us to before i do that i want us to check a few things right now i realize that the css files just tend to clash each other whenever they have the same class names like regardless whether you are using the same class name inside different CSS files. Now, what do I mean by that? If I give this class name main, right, you see it moves, right? And that's because when you come here, this one also has main, and then this main is used inside here, right? And it's also have like its own sets of properties. Before, it should have been a situation whereby when you use it inside your index or CSS or your app or CSX, you should see that. But I don't know why this is happening. But I mean, the f one of the best things for us to do is to just change the names according to the file. So I'm changing this to root, and then I am reflecting it here, right? And then uh, right after doing that, I'll come to my um sign in here and then i'll i'll make this i'll quickly make this um sign in i think this is better so i'll just copy this i'll come here and then i'll paste this like this and then after i would say display flex justify content center center then align item center then I would say I want to give it a height of a hundred. I want to give it a height of a hundred percent. Okay. Now, as you can see, it is in the middle of the page now. Now, we want to make sure that whenever we click on this, it takes us to our uh, sign up page, right? Sorry about that, but you know, uh, let's reload. Okay. So, we want to make sure that when we click on this, it takes us to. I, our sign up page right so how do we set that up what we do is we go to the sign in here and then we add uh, sign up URL yes sign up URL and then we see that should be what sign up okay then once we hit it it should take us to this sign up here and you can see that it's it's also here as we predicted okay uh, so let's quickly do the same thing for the sign up so for the sign up to we come here and then we see that the sign in URL should be what should be what sign in right exactly and then we make sure that we center it so we come and give it a class name of sign up and then we'll copy this bring it here and then we we'll give it a display flex justify content center align item center and then we give this a height of 100% okay this is awesome it's working like how we want it to okay so let's quickly create an account all 
okay now as you can see I just created an account and you can see it here so with this account that we've been able to create you can see that I can manage my account now how do I manage it I can basically add new email addresses I can connect to other social accounts and other things right now this is awesome let's quickly work on our home page design